So, uh, Rebecca, you wanted to comment on social media, and then I wanted also, after that, for the actors to talk about going to London and filming those sequences and then acting opposite them. Um, yeah, it was just a quick thing, really, that um, I think there was something else clever about your, your decision to update in, and bring the social media in, is obviously, um, you know, the, the, the missing child disappears, but also we all disappear into social media, right? So, so you know, uh, Sophie's character is, is, is lonely and desperate, even though she's surrounded by it. And, and so that feeling of kind of us all sinking be, you know, beneath the weight of it um, is such a part of the play and made so much sense too, I thought. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Um, Gary, uh, Sarah, Jack, Sophie. Sorry. What would you like to add to that about, um, about the social media? Sorry. Yeah, about social media and or filming the sequences in London. Oh, um, yeah, to be honest, something funny the other day, I mean, I was just, earlier on, was just like, what plays behind me yeah. <laughs> when, I'm, uh, when we're doing those things? Because, um, to be honest, I haven't watched a huge amount. It was nice doing it in London. It was like the warmest day of the year, and we were trying to pretend it was winter. And, uh, yeah. So you see us wearing like a big coat while someone walks past in a bikini, you know? So, <laughs> Uh, or I walk past in a bikini and someone else wearing I don't know. Um, but yeah, filming in London was great. And uh, I think the social, I think part of the social media stuff is, I mean, I don't want to say too much about the past of this play, but I think some of what the projections have been able to do is fill in some gaps, because there are gaps in this, this piece. Um, and I think it, it makes it, uh, I think it's easier to digest with a bit of, with the stuff that, that you and the other guys have come up with to fill in some of the things which aren't written there by Simon, but uh, I think it's I think it's been useful to tell a whole story. I think uh, filming in London really made me realise uh, what my character Catherine is going through and how big and massive London is. The population alone is huge, and for this young girl, 21. Uh, very young, naive, and dealing with a lot of... When we see her, in her alone in her monologue, she doesn't swear, and she's very vulnerable, and she's, she feels alone and very hopeless, I think. You know that line, there are no stars in the sky and I can't find the moon? That, that to me, that is someone who is at her end. She is so lost. She, it's uh, blackness to her. In, what she sees and uh, when I was filming in London it really made me we were walking around and I was like oh yeah poor Catherine and I suppose as an Irish girl myself coming over training in, in England I could totally relate with her and and yes she does use a lot of swearing but I was really thinking about this sorry to go back to this yeah. um, I was really thinking about it and yes she does swear a lot but it is mainly always with Gary and, and maybe she's trying to be cool. Um, it's a front. And then with Mary Louise, you, you know, she, she, maybe she has her eye on her and she, she's a, a little more... We adapt. The people we're around, we adapt, you know. I, I might not swear in front of my parents. Jesus, they'd kill me. But, uh, you know, around the people, I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, you adapt. And, and, and trauma as well is, is a huge, huge thing. And and a huge part of this piece. And when somebody goes through different parts of trauma, that's what we revert to. We, we, we as you say, the, pe the pressure point. Uh, we can, and, and for Catherine, I think she's going through her own traumas. Particularly, there's no stars in the sky and I can't find the moon. Oh, it kills me every time. But isn't it better that she is uh, vocalizing how she's feeling? And, and I think it's, it's a credit to Simon Stevens how he's written it because she, she's really able to articulate how she's feeling and she's at the depths of despair in her soliloquy and then we see her put that pressure valve go with Gary she's like yeah because she's she's there you know and she's she's dealing with all this male hierarchy and and, and her boss and, and all these people that maybe are creeping on her and she's like yeah angry and sad so so yes sorry going back to filming in London it made me realize all those things because poor old Catherine was going through a hell of a lot yeah <laughs> thank you awesome um uh, I also think um, your point uh, is a really important one. London is like another character yeah. in this play. Um, and this comes across so brilliantly in the projection and the design, but also in those private soliloquies. Each one of you, 
um, describes a different little little corner of the city, mm. and it's done really beautifully. And how you respond to that those feelings of alienation. And Jack, as a native Londoner, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, it's it's amazing with London as well, like because it's it's such a juxtaposition in in a sense of it's like one of the busiest cities in the world, and yet you can feel so lonely as well. You know, there's like what 10, 11 million people. That's just on my street, like, <laughs> and and yeah, you can feel, but you can feel so lonely, and and I think that's that's one of the big things I've I've noticed with this play was like this kind of this theme of this concurrent theme of, of, of loneliness and how we all feel quite desperate at points and and once again that thing of that in, inarticulacy of it. Um, but yeah so so I think that was a really helpful um, one of the things that, that you and the rest of the guys did so so expertly to, to kind of shine that light and that I think giving that extra dimension to the play. Um, and from the just from the point of view of filming in London, it was really helpful to, to, to obviously cause we all, like we're mapping out a route or that sort of thing, and to actually walk the route was really helpful. I've got no idea what's going on behind me. I've never seen it, but I trust it's very good. Um, but yeah, it, it, so that was really helpful. Um, funny little thing happened when we got to the bit when we actually got to Kentish Town. Like, like Gary said, it was one of the hottest days of the year got to Kentish Town, and 12 of the musliest dudes in vests you've ever seen rocked up. And I thought, it's supposed to be winter, we're probably going to have to go again, aren't we? We went again, didn't we, Lewis? <laughs> Cleared them on. Um, but yeah, yeah it, was, it was nice to nice to pop home for a bit. I, but I love it here, by the sorry, way. Sorry, Dan. I think there's something, I too am a, a Londoner born and bred, um, and I am a passionate Londoner. I adore it. And when I, uh, you and um, met me to audition for the show, um, he asked me what I thought of the play. I said I loved it. Um, and one of the things I said was, I you know, I love London, and I think this is really about my city. Um, and there was a slight sort of double take, which is, but, you know, th this isn't kind of the kindest play to London. If you love London, what's going on with it? But actually, I think that there is, particularly in uh, Anne's monologue at the very end, you do get the feeling that, yes, it can be dreadful, yes, it can be lonely, but also there's something magic about the fact that it just carries on. Mm. And it's in Gary's too. The river is there going through it all. And, you know, people just, this extraordinary maelstrom of people doing all the things they do actually is life. And, and it's, it is the sun coming out. It, it isn't all city hell. It's actually really great too. Yeah. And I think he has it in there. You know, yeah, he puts absolutely. it in there. Yeah. Sophie, do you want to add to that? Um, I, uh, I found with, with my soliloquy, it's, it's slightly different from all the others. Um, it, she literally tells you her journey and maps it out. And she starts off with this energy of uh, talking about all the people, all the hustle and bustle around her, uh, going to the theatre, going to the cinema, doing all of this, which she's not doing. She's not with these people, not... Uh, spending time with these people. She's an, Mary Louise is an incredibly lonely character, which is so interesting to play. And in this, um, this whole story that she tells in her soliloquy, she starts off by being, I'm fine, I'm fine with this, I'm good, I'm fine. And something seemingly very insignificant happens, and it sets off this snowball effect uh, for her anxiety. And Doing the filming in London was interesting because I did walk the exact route. And it was, it was odd because in the video, I don't know if you noticed, but I don't have any handbag, I don't have anything with me. And I felt when I was filming that how odd it is. If you go out without a handbag, you, have, you don't have your phone on, you, don't, you have nothing. And it made me think, gosh, she's this character who what just what goes off and walks like she says this in the first scene she says i wanted somebody to wear this if i went out i could just run i could just go and i feel she's a character that just has to escape her house or whatever wherever she is and she just walks and she walks this this route and discovers these really interesting things about herself um so like seeing all the children which is something that she feels uh, not lonely around children. And then something triggers it and they're gone and she's lonely and she's quite desperate again. And I think it was really interesting filming that and it helped to really um, find that journey for her. 